thanks for stopping by. I'm going to give my thoughts and impressions on everybody's Golf VR for the PlayStation 4. Uh, most people are familiar with it on the state side as Hot Shots Golf, which I played for many, 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 many hours and years on the PlayStation 2, the PlayStation 3, and also on my PSP. I want to start off by saying I am not a golfer. I do golf, but poorly. I have played quite a few different golfing simulator and swing technique simulators, and they do tell me the same thing that I already know, and that is that I suck. But back to everybody's golf. The, the swing mechanics in this game are pretty sound. Uh, when you set up your character, it is important that you get your height correct and the distance and your positioning, everything everything how the game asks you to do it, otherwise you're going to get frustrated. You do get to practice swing as many times as you want uh, before each swing when you're playing the game. And there is the driving range and the putting greens that I highly suggest you spend some time with. Every time you take a practice swing, you'll see a trail of the head from your golf club and its connection with the ball and the direction the ball is going to fly off the face of your club which is helpful because even the slightest twist of your wrist is going to change the angle, trajectory, and loft of the connection that you make with the golf ball and can either make you very happy or weep like a wee baby when your ball flies out of bounds. Now again, with the swinging, the move controller is preferable. I have not played with the DS4 controller can't imagine how it would feel trying to hold it like a golf club. I didn't even want to play with those mechanics. I have the move controller. You grip it just like a golf club and again when you're looking down every slight movement angle and twist of the wrist is matched perfectly with your golf club. Uh, it gives you a definite tactile feel, a slight rumble when your club is in contact with the ground so you know the right level. Same with the putting, you get a little trail to show you what your, your putter is moving like, the distance it's gonna cover, so on and so forth. If you have played Hot Shots Golf, these mechanics, the UI, everything is gonna be very familiar and it's, it's wonderful. The main difference you'll find is that instead of pushing a button to select your power and then pushing the button again to select your accuracy of the hit you are actually swinging your club and again practice 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 i cannot tell you how frustrated i was seeing the red club knowing that i wasn't even connecting with the ball finally went back through the settings readjusted got my distance from the camera right and while i'm still not hitting the ball straight and landing on the fairway all the time you'll hear me groan and whimper that i'm in a bunker yet again um, I'm connecting with the ball. I am launching it down the fairway. Well, I'm, I'm launching it down the course. Now the other side that is missing and maybe they'll patch it in later, maybe it's not on their radar at all, is competitive. Um, in Hot Shots Golf, you know that you will play against other golfers and beat them and unlock them as playable characters. That does not happen in this game. There is no online play. The only company you're going to keep is your caddies. Now there are five or six different caddies you can unlock. They all have different colors and different outfits. So that will change them up a little bit, but their, their voices will always be the same as to who they are. They're not overly annoying. They do chat a bit. They give you some helpful tips while you're out there swinging. If, if you uh, are swinging like a maniac and not connecting the ball, they'll definitely remind you to go back to a practice swing and figure out what the hell you're doing. Also with the caddies, there are little events that pop up and they're amusing, but thankfully after the first time you've watched each one of them, there will be a skip option. As with your caddy introduction, once you've met your caddy the first time, you can skip their, their blabbling and get straight to playing your course. Now, a Hot Shots or everybody's golf game wouldn't be complete without the unlockables. Um, you do rank up and each rank you will unlock something, whether it's a different caddy, a different color, a different set of clubs, a new course, a new course mode. 
Now the course modes are three holes random. Um, you've got nine on the front end, nine on the back end, or the full 18 hole course. And the first club set you'll unlock is the beginner club set, which is wonderful. The heads are like five times the size of the normal club set. You won't hit it as far, but you will connect with the ball pretty much every time. Every time you play a course, you will get points based on your score. The lower the score, the better your experience gain will be and the faster you'll rank up. Um, there's, I don't, I won't say they're multipliers, but there's bonuses for getting birdies and eagles. And it does help pull the game along when you're playing and you know that you're working towards something. Now with this game, I have played for roughly 12 hours or so, and I haven't found myself wanting for competitive. I will admit that if they do bring it into play, being able to log in and find a lobby and join up with other players and compete will be nice. But right now, being in the virtual world of a everybody's golf game is pretty fun. I cannot count the times where I have hit the ball down the course and I find myself leaning in my garage, looking like an idiot, I'm sure, leaning with the ball, trying to keep it in the fairway, which I know is not helping, but the, it's just the feeling of keeping your head down until you've knocked the ball off the tee and then tracking it down the course visually. Um, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome. I, I don't know how else to say it. It's, it. it's not boring to me yet, and hopefully it won't be. I want to continue ranking up, unlocking the caddies, see what different personalities they have to offer. And here's to hoping that maybe not in this iteration, but maybe everybody's golf to VR, we will get competitive or other golfers that we are playing against. But for now, I will be happy with what is essentially a uh, cartoonish golf simulator in the everybody's golf or hot shots golf vein. Even the music is spot on in this event right here. She puts an earphone up to your ear that's actually playing the soundtrack from one of the original's Hot Shots Golf games. It's pretty amusing. So if you like golfing games, give this a whirl. If you like VR um, and you don't like golfing games, you might find yourself finding some enjoyment. If you like any of the Hot Shots slash everybody's golf games, you're not going to want to miss out on this one. It is definitely worth the uh, $29.99 that it's currently on the store for. If you're going to hold out for it to be on sale, go for it. I, it you're not wasting your money either way. It's, it's a good game, and I'm going to get back to playing it right now. Thanks for stopping in, guys, and we will uh, see you next time.